Hey, what's up, Nerd Goblins? This is Jason from Atomic Martian Tour Reviews. In this episode, we review the Marvel Universe Steve Rogers and the Batman Legacy Classic Batman from Mattel. So, check us out. First up, we got the Batman Legacy Classic Batman. This is from Wave 2 of the Batman Legacy series. Oh, he looks pretty cool. He comes with the Bat Mike figure. His little Bat Slave. Yeah, and uh, apparently he's only at Kmart, which I, I didn't think that this figure only came out at Kmart, but maybe it did. I think it's just with the Bat Mike figure. That oh, okay. It it. So it's like an exclusive with the Bat Mike yeah. figure. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, Very cool looking. I like that on the uh, package here you can see... Retro Batman. Mm -hmm. It even says on it, Golden Age. You turn it around, and there he is running with like 50 bat signals in the back. I don't get that. Why do they have so many bat signals around town? And wouldn't that confuse them? Exactly. It's like, um, which Where one's Commissioner Gordon? Which one? How do I know it's not the Joker with a with a with a freaking 45 pointed at my head? Yeah. Just waiting for me to jump. That would make room. sense if the Joker wanted to trap Batman or trick him. He would make just his make his own bat signal. Or Honestly, just just tie up Gordon and go to the roof and just hide behind the bat signal. Batman's yeah. like, where's that? Bam! Now, is the bat signal still in comics? It seems like it would be obsolete now. I mean, they have cell phones and stuff like that. There's much easier ways to communicate than a yeah. bat signal. But I don't think Batman wants to give out a cell phone because then everybody's going to be trying to call him. What about the red phone that was in his bat, you know, bat no, layer? No, because it was the 60s and they couldn't use the bat signal, you know, logically in that TV show. Well, they could, but I mean, it was the 60s. They didn't have the budget for that. I don't know. I'm just saying. You know, I figured like the mayor and, and Gordon would have a direct line to Batman. I'm wondering if he has a Twitter account. And could you imagine the updates that he puts on there? I yeah. just banged out the Catwoman. I did. And I beat up like 10 goons. I just beat up 10 goons. While I just doing, banged while... out Talia Al Ghul and then beat up 10 goons. Mm -hmm. I just banged out the Joe shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, calm down there. All right, well, getting back to this figure, this is, um, obviously, it's a Golden Age Batman. It's inspired by the 60s and, and 50s, 60s, 70s, you know, yeah. um, era of Batman. Um, the more, um, I don't know, like, PG version of Batman until Frank Miller came in in the 80s and kind of, you know, made, made, him, a, a, made him a little bit more uh, rated R and yeah. everything like that. And, of course, you know, Christopher Nolan making the movies. Yeah. Um, this is like the Adam West Batman, basically. Yeah. This is what the, the original TV show was based out of. Uh, based on and everything is really campy and, and this is um, like this is like Batman V two to be honest because you mm -hmm. know you remember version one had like the big bat ears this is like Bob Kane's version two of Batman yeah more man than bat yeah uh, but this is a very very popular style of Batman a lot, a lot of people that love um, retro comics and retro stylings or whatever are very attracted to this Batman even though it he doesn't his color patterns and stuff don't really make a whole lot of sense yeah. um, but the gold or like the yellow bell and the gray and, and blue like the bright blue well you know I always love these kind of costumes it's a great example of the classic argument is it actually blue or is it supposed to be black and I know what you're thinking. Well, if it was black, wouldn't they just make it black? No. But back in the 60s and stuff. They had such, four colors, you know. Yeah, they had four colors. So it was like, okay, it's black with blue highlights. Yeah. And eventually it just became... Like Superman's hair. Like Superman doesn't really have blue in his hair. He's just, no, he was painting just highlights, way. and yeah. that's all they had to use. Exactly. And that's pretty much what Batman was. It was supposed to be black, and then it just kind of became more blue. Mm-hmm. Uh, very, like, Dick Tracy, like, yellow on the on the Yeah, logo, so like that. It? Yeah, very bright yellow. Yeah, I'm banana yellow. I don't know. I say we open them up and check them out. You yeah, know? I mean, there's not a whole lot to the package. Um, in this wave, also you can get the a classic Batgirl style and also Catman uh, figure too. So they're both pretty cool looking. Very. So, there we go. All right, here he is out of package with his little Bat Mike dude that that's a big fan of his or whatever. He's number one, Batman's number one fan apparently. Batman's number one fan from the fourth what dimension. Um. So yeah, anyway, uh, there's not a whole lot to this figure. Um, he's basically a reused DC UC Batman body uh, with a new head. That's a new sculpted head. And new um, feet. 
Oh, and apparently new feet too. Um, you noticed that? I didn't notice oh, yeah. that. And then um, his head feels really rubbery. It's like a different material they made it out of. It actually feels yeah. more like the material that his cape is made out of as like opposed to like the plastic. Or whatever. Yeah, it's kind of squishy and really weird looking. But the detail is cool. He has a goofy looking Batman smirk, you know, like he's, yeah. you know, Batman is not really pissed off at all. He's he's always just like happy. That back he, from the 60s when he's like, bad guys, pow, bad. bam, bliff. Exactly. Um, so I don't know. What do you think of him? Very cool. I'll tell you though, it's kind of a mishmash to me. Because look at that head. Mm -hmm. When I see this face, that screams to me Super Friends. But the Batman symbol here does not scream Super Friends. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a mishmash. I kind of wish they put this head back on the uh, Series 1 from DC Universe Classics Batman that they made, which was a retro figure. Mm -hmm. They gave him the, the kind of standard Batman head. Um, but did this paint scheme to it. Oh, okay. So I kind of yeah. wish they would switch those heads. But it's not just Super Friends. It's also very Adam West because he's got the blue eyebrows and the blue nose. Very cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we can get him to do it. He can kind of do the bat to say. Oh, yeah. With uh, Julie Newmar or Eartha Kitt. Swinging 60s. Back in the yeah. Adam West was a big swinger back then. Big times. So. Uh, let's talk about Batmite real quick. He's a little guy. He's probably less than three inches tall. I would say about two inches tall. He does have some pose ability. His arms move up and down. His legs do swivel out like that. So he yeah. can do like a split type thing. Whee! And of course his head turns left and right. His um, cape does like pop up it's like that. Flexible. Yeah, it's a little flexy, flexy cape and everything. And He's a goofy looking guy, man. He's a very funny looking character. Yeah. Very cool. Very good representation of the fourth dimensional imp. That's right. Um, but yeah, there's not a whole lot to him. Um, not a lot of movement. He's more of just like a little display guy that you can He's always hang around. The Batmite's always been more Mad Magazine than DC Comics. I yeah, think. he does look like a Mad Magazine character. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think he's cool. He's very interesting. He looks yeah. like Bat, you know. They, they nice little bonus, there. you know, to go with the, go with the figure base. Yeah, that's what you want, and way, so. to, way to go Kmart, you know, getting back in there. Yeah, you don't suck all the time, Kmart. Sometimes cool things like this happen, and, you know, you're redeemed. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. And the last thing the figure does come with is, a, whoops, oh. sorry, is this gold base that says yep. Batman. Gold. Base. In case you were confused about what figure you just bought. And gold base for Golden Age. Though, honestly, I think this is more of the Silver Age Batman. Because in Golden Age, like the first one that came out where he looked like more man, more bat than man. Yeah, I don't know. And it was a hyphen Batman, like spider. Anyway, yeah. um, I don't know if I agree with Golden Age. I think it's Silver Age, but all in all, really cool. Yeah. yeah base looks tight. It also comes with this um, like retro poster, which is like a retro copy of um, the... Whatever issue. Whatever, Detective Comics issue that... Uh, it's Helm and Robin kicking right. some ass, taking some names. With a whole bunch of bat signals in the background. That's right, just in case, you know. Just you know, one bat signal, one do. You know, I guess Arkham um, was broken broken into and all the villains were released at the same I, time, so. I theorize that it's something like, you know how like Homeland Security did all those like Amber Alerts and stuff? It's like, how many bat signals in it? One's not too bad. 50's freaking horrible. Mm -hmm. It's World War Three. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that's what's going on in there. So overall, I like this figure. I think it's cool. I'm a big fan of the retro Batman style, um, the 60s style and imagery, and the Super Friends style of Batman. So um, as soon as I saw him um, as a, a figure that was coming out, I was immediately drawn to him, and I definitely wanted to pick him up. So I definitely was happy with his purchase. Um, I don't know. I think he's cool. He's so. very cool. I, I agree. Next up on our review jacket, we got... The new Marvel Universe Captain America, but really it's Steve Rogers as the Super Patriot, because that's what the F he is in the comics. Mm -hmm. But this is pretty close, and uh, he looks pretty sweet. He's all modern, instead of, you know, being the obvious Captain America outfit he's got on, instead he's all stealthy with, you know, a shield and stuff on mm -hmm. his shirt with some wings on it and stuff, yep. and he's wearing gloves, and he's got his boots, and of course, who needs a shield when you got a gun? Which he has. No, That's true. no mean, actual yeah. Captain America shield, but he's got guns. That's true. Now, this is Series 3 um, Captain America, or Series 3 Marvel Universe. This is the newest, one of the newest waves that just came out. And it's the 21st figure in the series. 
Um, and as Matt pointed out, I guess, uh, you know, Steve Rogers is like, you know, for like the last like 60 or 70 years, I haven't carried a gun. You know, what was I thinking? I that was like obviously I'm stupid. Feel so like a pussy. Now I got to carry a M16 with a grenade launcher and a pistol and, and just, it's easier to shoot people than it is to knock them out with my shield. Yeah. And so. this takes care of the problem too. There's no, oh, he's going to wake up later, pick up his gun and start shooting again. No, sir. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers down. And, you know, a couple, a couple just, bullets to the bra- the cranium, and that's it. That's he's it. been hanging out, out with, uh, you know, Charlton Heston, yeah. exercising his Second Amendment rights that's as an right. American. Now, Matt, why isn't uh, Steve Rogers still Captain America? Why, why did he uh, well, decide to go out on that? After he was killed in the uh, aftermath of the Civil War, he finally came back, and his prodigy, his former sidekick, Bucky Barnes, was filling as Captain America. U.S. agent, type thing. Was that a U.S. agent? No, no, no. He wasn't a U.S. agent. No, oh, U.S. Okay. agent was still U.S. agent. Bucky oh, Barnes, okay. the Winter Soldier, was now Captain There's America. There's so many Captain Americas <laughs> running around. It's hard to keep track of all of them. And uh, basically, Captain America's like, you know, you got this shit on lockdown. I'm going to do some other stuff for a while. I think in the comics he's back to being Cap right now. Fact check? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But this yeah. time he was Steve Rogers, head of the world. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. He kind of has a, a classic uh, Nick Fury look to him, I think. You know, he does. the white Nick Fury. Of course, he doesn't have like the uh, the frosted hair and the uh, the eye patch or whatever, but I think his uh his uniform kind of looks like reminds me of um yeah, Nick totally. Fury a little bit, yeah. I don't know. I think he's cool. Uh, what do you think of the art? I think the art it, I have a mixed feelings about the art. Uh, it looks kind of weird. His face looks really goofy. He looks like he's kind of stupid. Like mm. he's Staring off into something, but even he doesn't know what. And it looks he has very Chris Evans his, look. On this. His head looks very <laughs> oh, small compared to the rest of his body. Well, I mean that's comic. That's comic books. Though. I mean, you yeah, know, normal size head. You can't. A, if you work out, your head's not going to get bigger. You know. I think this one, the package on the back where he's saying collect them all, looks better. See, than I think the it looks like a, a chimpanzee or something like that on the back. Or I prefer this chimpanzee to this fucking mongoloid here on the front. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to follow. Zone, yeah. I don't want to follow this dumb motherfucker in battle. Yeah. Because I'm going to get killed. Well, t- Steve Probably Rod- by him. Yeah, Steve Rogers was never known for his intelligence, so. Oh. He wasn't... He didn't lead troops... I mean, he didn't get known for leading troops into battle in World War II. He no, walked no. out. He was the survivor. He got yeah. known for walking with a bunch of people being the only one to walk out. Mm-hmm. Probably because he didn't know which way the machine gun was pointing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I just like to duck whenever I pull now, the trigger. Not only did he kill all the enemy troops, but he actually killed all of his own troops. Yeah. Too. Yeah, that's like that. Oops, he just shot anybody. He didn't, well, you know, didn't discriminate. You know, but he, in his defense, he's got the most confirmed kills of anybody. Yeah. You know, and that's just, and that's pretty good for someone that just carried around a shield for sixty sides. years. Yeah. Both sides. Yeah. He's taking them both out. All right. Well, let's, opportunity. Let's open this figure up and check them out. Let's do it. All right, we got this cool little dude out of the package and everything. It's time to check right. him out. Let's um, talk about him. The first thing um, I noticed was his weapons. His weapon, this uh, machine gun. Even though it's a little warped and everything like that, you kind of have to bend it back. But I think this machine gun looks pretty kicking. I think yeah. it's awesome. Um, yeah, it's nice little sculpt, uh, sculpted gun. The machine gun here looks, like you were saying, it looks fantastic. Again, my only qualm with it is this really chintzy, soft plastic. Yeah. If it was made of something a little bit sturdier. Um, but it looks yeah, pretty it's not bad. Awesome. He has a little nine millimeter that looks pretty cool too. But no place to put the gun other than in his hand. Like he doesn't even yeah. have holsters or anything on there. Um, he yeah. has a bunch of web gear on here, which I'm a little confused about. I'm not really sure why he has like these uh, shoulder straps, and he has like a bunch of straps hanging down from his belt. What do you what do you think that might be? Um, I'm thinking it is because uh, I mean, let's face it, Cap is a very conservative person for the public, and uh, that is just masking a very freaky side of him. That is in the S&M. And yeah. that's what that's really left over from. And the thing is, as a superhero, sometimes you got to get it on with your costume on in case you have to go into battle. And that's what's happened here. Captain America, mid freaky deaky coitus, had to leave to go save the world. That's true. And that might explain why he's wearing Ugg boots as well. Yeah. With um, um, buckles. That's actually, that's part of his, uh, his rehearsal for a one-man tribute to Flashdance. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. you know. Um... He's a he's a he's a he's a, like an onion, many layers. Mm-hmm. Um, what what do you like about him? What do I like about him? Not much. You know, oh, really? no, he's cool no, he's actually really cool. I honestly like the build of his body is fantastic. Mm-hmm. He's like yeah, the proportions dude. look good. Yeah, really uh, the good. muscle sculpts look look really good. And cool. his his head, the face is awesome. Mm-hmm. I can definitely that's definitely Steve Rogers. I like right the there. hair de- detail too. To be honest, you could head swap and have a really good looking Nazi. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, he's very um. <laughs> 
Uh, Captain America's yeah. got blonde hair, blue eyes. Go figure. Yeah, he's fighting Nazis. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, nah, like it's a really good looking head, though. I mean, you mm-hmm. could like you know do repaint on it or something, use it for something else, or yeah. swap it on your Cobra guys, and you got some neo Nazis. I guess, I guess this was part of his uniform or whatever. But I really like these uh, the red and white stripes on the sides. It's a very Union Jack or, or you know uh, Captain Britain looking, yeah. but I I think it's cool. I think it's a cool effect. Um, if they didn't have it, then he would be all blue, brown, and white, and then he would kind of look bland. Yeah, so this kind of makes it pop a little bit more. He looks pretty. I mean, I think he looks fantastic, though. The cool thing about him is, like, like you have a lot of G.I. Joe stuff, so that's a Captain America there that you could, like, set up with your modern Joes, and he doesn't look like, hey, I'm Captain America, I'm going to go out with my big shield, and people are going to shoot at me, and yeah. you guys are probably going to die. Yeah, yeah, Instead, he, did, he definitely like, would. He's like covert op Captain America, he like you know, leading the team, breaks some yeah. dude's neck, shoots another guy in the face. Yeah, he would definitely um, um mix in with uh, 21st century uh, style figures and stuff like Which that that are on now. So he'll look good with Marvel Universe and he, he'd look really cool with G.I. Joe figures as well. Um, he does have like the upper thigh swivel, which they've been putting on a lot more Marvel Universe. They started this with like kind of the Captain America yeah. line um, that came out over the summer, and they've been adding it to more Marvel Universe Universe figures. I'm not a hundred percent sold on yeah, that. Design. It's really weird. I I kind of for the most part I like it. It's kind of cool. I like the fact that it adds a little bit extra for you, but it's just really kind of weird. Um, mm-hmm. It doesn't add a lot of extra. That's, I think that's why I, think I kind of the don't thing like is it. they're trying to compensate here because they utilize a pseudo T crotch but it's really not the same because like the G.I. Joe's have a metal T crotch so it's a yeah. metal bar in there and the legs are held together with a screw so you never have to worry about them popping off Yeah. versus this it's just uh, really cheap plastic yeah. it's really soft if you, anytime you try to really do some crazy poses with them his legs pop right off so yeah I mean it was like a metal T crotch especially with the Marvel Universe there's really not that much mm-hmm. variation in what they make so yeah. it'd be a really cheap easy fix so Hasbro you might want to um, have your guys you know go out to lunch with each other, you know, talk to each other about it talk about bit. toy crotches. Yeah, talk about toy crotches and um, see if they can kind of, you know, get everything on the same page. Because I think um, I think a lot of the Marvel Universe figures kind of suffer from articulation that they could be easily fixed if they just used um, stuff from like GI Joe or even exactly. some of the Star Wars figures very easily. Yeah. Um, but overall, though, I, I think this figure looks cool. I mean, he oh, does yeah. have decent posability. He's not. It's not really a character like Spider Man or whatever that you're gonna have like doing crazy poses or whatever. Um, most of the time, most likely when you display him, you're just gonna have him like pointing his gun at somebody or, or you know, looking all badass like super agent style. Um, but he does have um, some modern posability and um, overall, I, don't know. I like him. I, I think he's, he's pretty cool. badass. I like him a lot too. Yeah. Um, if we were giving numerical scores, I would give him one, but we're not doing that. No, so. we're not. Fuck math. That's right. All right, this has been another fantastic episode of Atomic Martian Tour Reviews. We did Batman, Steve Rogers, and there's even Bat Mike getting ready to get shot in the face. Because, um, you know, Steve Rogers, he doesn't like extraterrestrials on a planet. He's saying, get the F out. So, just like Steve Rogers is telling the Bat Mike to get the F out, we're going to get the F out now. And I'm just going to let you guys know you can catch us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, on AtomicMartians.com. You're probably watching it right now on AtomicMartians.com. Make sure to check out our sponsors. We got BigBadToyStore.com, T-ShortBordello.com, TenaciousToys.com, RadarToys.com. Check them all out. They're effing awesome. And one last thing for all you people out in internet land. Oh, he's such a pretty kitty. Watch our fucking show or I will kill this cat. I will kill it here on camera for everybody. So watch the fucking show. All right, bye. Thanks. <laughs>